Bridgerton Season 3 is officially happening on Netflix, and what's more, Bridgerton has been renewed for Season 4 as well. Author Julia Quinn wrote eight Bridgerton books in total, one focusing on each child, and the hope is that each book will be adapted into a different season for TV. This season will chronicle the dramatic ups and downs of Miss Penelope Featherington and Mr. Colin Bridgerton's love story, which has been years in the making. Set to loosely follow the plot of Julia Quinn's Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, the fourth novel in the book series, season three will surely be a lot different from what fans of the book will expect. But the interesting part is that there are some changes in the cast for the third season. Season 3's cast will include most of the Bridgerton family, but we'll see some new faces, including Hannah Dodd, Hannah New, Daniel Francis, James Foon, and Sam Phillips. Hannah Dodd is replacing Ruby Stokes as she is no longer playing Francesca Bridgerton's younger sister. In May 2022, it was announced that Dodd would replace Ruby Stokes in the third series as Francesca, the sixth Bridgerton child. According to Deadline, the recast was caused by schedule complications, as Stokes is set to star in Netflix's Lockwood & Company, a series adaptation of the book series of the same name by Jonathan Stroud. In 2018, Dodd made her television debut with two significant roles, Thea Raphael in the show Find Me in Paris, where she was a main character, and Sophia Fitzwilliam in Harriet's, where she had a recurring role. Also in 2022, Dodd took on various roles, showcasing her versatility. She portrayed a young version of Sienna Miller's character during her university years in the Netflix miniseries Anatomy of Scandal. Additionally, she played the character Sarah Chapman in the Netflix movie Enola Holmes 2 and took on the role of Corinne Foxworth in Flowers in the Attic The Origin, a miniseries prequel based on the novel Garden of Shadows, which aired on Lifetime. So far, Francesca is the Bridgerton sibling with the least screen time, having made occasional appearances during the show's first season and completely disappearing in the middle of season two. The character's elusive nature made sense given the focus on her elder siblings. But as the series continues to make its way through Julia Quinn's novels, the time has come for Francesca to take on a central role. Now, with a new star set to step into Francesca's role, the sibling might get a more prominent role in the highly anticipated third season. Perhaps season three will even see the introduction of cousins John and Michael Sterling, who both play a huge role in Francesca's life. And before we know about the next actor, like and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any updates on your favorite film. In 2022, it was announced that Daniel Francis had been cast in the third season. He will be playing the role of Marcus Anderson, a character described as having a charming presence that catches the attention of certain influential women in society. Daniel Francis is an actor who has received formal training in acting. Apart from his role in season three, he has also appeared in other notable projects. These include the Apple TV series Liaison, where he acted alongside Ava Green and Vincent Cassell, as well as the Netflix thriller Stay Close, where he shared the screen with actors like Richard Armitage and James Nesbitt. Passionate but shy as a youth, Daniel found freedom of expression on stage while attending the Pyramid Young Initiative in Clapham, London. At the age of 17, he meets a life-changing early mentor, director Sasha Wares, and is subsequently cast in her production of Bintu at the Arcola Theatre. Francis went to the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts and after graduation went to the Royal Shakespeare Company to work alongside actor John Lithgow. After finishing his first season at the RSC, Daniel began a successful stage career. He played important roles in several highly praised productions, including The Brother's Size at The Young Vic, written by Terrell Alvin McCraney, who won an Oscar for Moonlight. Off the Ends at the Royal Court Theatre, directed by the award-winning Jeremy Heron, The Hounding of David Oluwale, Othello at the Singapore Rep Theatre, and he also portrayed Martin Luther King Jr. in Katori Hall's play The Mountaintop, which won an Olivier Award. Daniel is known for his performances as Dr. Facilier in Disney ABC's hit series Once Upon a Time and Esmond Smith in Small Axe, directed by Academy Award-winning director Steve McQueen. James Foon is another new cast member who plays Harry Dankworth. On Instagram, Foon posted a screenshot of Deadline's article announcing his casting with the caption, See you at the ball, it's going to be a ton of fun. He is talented both as a singer and performer, 
he contributed to the development of the video game Total War Three Kingdoms, set to launch in 2019. He also lent his voice to multiple characters in the TV series Dodo. In addition, he received training in transgender performance, and this expertise was put to use in the 2020 short film Sugar Babies. In the comedy horror series Wreck on BBC3, he played Hamish Campbell. He made an appearance in the West End production of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child from 2017 to 2019. Sam Phillips is going to play Lord Debling. A genial lord with unusual interests, he has wealth and a noble title to back up his eccentricities. He'll thus have no shortage of interest from young ladies looking to marry. Phillips is best known for his television and stage careers, including his role in the BBC series The Syndicate, in which he starred opposite Outlander's Richard Rankin and the children's series Hotel Trouble. His other credits include In the Flesh and The Crown. On stage, he starred in the National Theatre production of The History Boys and Much Ado About Nothing at Shakespeare's Globe. He has appeared on stage as the accused schoolteacher in Inherit the Wind, directed by Trevor Nunn at the Old Vic. He was also part of the quintet of players in the Glasgow Citizens Theatre production of Eugene O'Neill's mammoth Long Day's Journey into Night, as tormented younger son Jamie. However, to many younger television viewers, he may be best remembered as another Jamie, arguably the only sensible staff member in the children's sitcom Hotel Trouble. Sam is also a passionate supporter of cancer research in light of his father's having once been a cancer sufferer. Lastly, as for the cast, Bridgerton has a few key cast members without whom the show simply wouldn't be the same. Topping the list is Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope Featherington, aka clandestine gossip writer Lady Whistledown. Whistledown's musings are likely to feature Dame Julie Andrews once more. For season three, Nicola will take center stage even more alongside Luke Newton, who plays Colin Bridgerton after it was confirmed this season would be based on their love story. Then, of course, there's the central Bridgerton family, including Mother Violet, played by Ruth Jemmel, and the rest of her children, Anthony, played by Jonathan Bailey, Benedict, played by Luke Thompson, Eloise, played by Claudia Jesse, Francesca, Gregory, played by Will Tilston, and Hyacinth, played by Florence Hunt. Anatomy of Scandal star Hannah Dodd has taken over as Francesca Bridgerton in season three, replacing actress Ruby Stokes. Ruby decided to leave in order to devote her time to another Netflix project, Lockwood & Company. Each book in Julia Quinn's novel series, upon which the show is based, focuses on a different sibling. While we have yet to see any new footage from the show, the Bridgerton cast has certainly kept us entertained with gossip from the set. The most recent came in September as part of the streamer's Tutum event, with on-screen siblings Claudie Jesse and Luke Newton talking about their characters while painting portraits of each other. They were then joined by Nicola Coughlin for the announcement of the first episode title and the first details about what's to come. Well, that's it for today. But what's going to happen next? How will these new characters affect the Bridgerton world? What kind of romantic adventures will unfold for Penelope Featherington and Colin Bridgerton in Season 3? And what juicy secrets will come to light in high society? Share with me in the comments, and we'll be back with more exciting insights.